Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show how to make a cube move like this in Blender using animation nodes. I'm not going to add the materials and the lighting and stuff like that, but I'm going to show you how to make the basic movement using animation nodes. It's going to be fairly quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render. And then we're going to go down to the um, web page that you will find in the description, which is at uh, GitHub, and download the animation node zip file. And find a place where you want to have the uh, file. And I'm going to replace my old one. And then I'm going to go back to Blender, and then go up to File, click User Preferences, and then click Install from File. And we're going to install the file that we just downloaded. So let's go to Animation Node Zip, Install from File, and then just make sure it's selected. So search Nodes, and yes, it's selected. So click Save User Settings. And then we're going to go back to the main page in Blender. Okay, so we need to make some space for the uh, node setup. So I'm going to make a, um, a new window. And then go to Node Editor. I'm just going to give it a little bit more space. And then we need to create a new node tree. And we might grab the window a little bit more upwards, or at least, yeah, give it more space. And then to add a new node, you need to click Shift A. So Shift A to add a node. Go into the object subcategory and click Transforms Outputs. And as you can see, it's really small, so you need to use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom into the node. And the set axis is on the right side, so select location and rotation on the set axis. And then just make sure the cube is added to the um, node as well. And then click Shift A to add a new node. And this time we're going to add a vector node and it's called Randomize. And now we need to add another node and it's going to be a, an animation node. So add a time info node so that when the time changes, the location on the set, set axis is going to change as well. So connect the scale to frame and a vector to the location. And when you click play now, you can see that it falls down on the set axis, but if you increase the node C to 1, it's going to go upwards on the set axis. But as you can see, it's kind of slow, so we need to add another node. So I'm going to grab this uh, node a little bit and then add a new one. So click Shift A and add a math node. So just search for math node. Add it, and we're going to use the um, multiplier. So if we increase the B value to, let's say, 2.5 in the beginning, it's going to move a lot faster. So um, let's just make it 4.42. Click pause, and then we need to add a few more nodes for the um, set rotation. So let's add a uh, combined Euler node in the rotation subcategory and grab it downwards and then we need to connect the time info to the set value so uh, connect frame to set and then connect Euler to the rotation and if we go back to the first frame you can see that it now rotates and goes upwards on the set axis at the same time but I think it's a little bit too quick at the moment, so we need to add a math node to the uh, combined Euler as well. So we need to select it, right click, and I click Shift D to duplicate the uh, math node. And then I'm going to make the B value less than 1, which is going to slow it down. Okay, so now that you know how to install animation nodes, how to add them and connect them, I think you should just try to play around with the different animation nodes and make your own animation and just look around with the tutorials on YouTube and just play around with it. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I always respond to the comments. 
And if you liked the video, subscribe to my channel and I'll post a new tutorial next week. So thank you for watching.